Hi, morning, everyone. Um, today's topic is about um, hormone imbalances. This is a topic that I often encounter in my clinical experience when treating customers with um, traditional Chinese healing therapies. Hormone imbalance in Western medicine comes in category as endocrine system, thyroid system, pituitary system, adrenal system. Um, but however, Chinese medicine understands the hormone therapy indifferently. The three main organs that um, controls, we call it essence, jin, or in Western medicine we call it hormone, is the three organs, liver, gallbladder, and kidney. And the main functions of um, hormone is growth, digestion, sleep, and reproduction. As you can see in Chinese medicine, kidney controls reproduction, growth, liver controls sleep, the period, the blood flow, and the gallbladder and liver both controls digestion. That's why um, there's a different understanding in here. So in my clinic, I will treat these three organs if there's any hormonal imbalances. And uh, today, there's so many things that causes um, hormone imbalances. But let's not talk about the products there. But I'm going to talk about something that you may do from your diet, lifestyle and emotions that will affect hormone imbalances. For example, going to bed late affects the liver. Sit, uh, standing up too much affects the kidney and negative emotions will affect gallbladder liver. Um, a negative emotion, especially holding grudges, unforgiveness, quick to anger, impatience, this will cause hormonal imbalance as well. And let's talk about things to avoid and product to avoid, food to avoid, if you want to avoid hormonal imbalances. Um, today, the most common food intake is rapeseed oil, which I previously talked talk about before, because how the degumming, heating, bleaching process uh, is done in a rapeseed oil, such as canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oils, that will um, affect our hormones. And the second is meat, especially chicken, cow, and pork. They are hormonal pumped meat. So when you eat their meat, you get their synthetic hormones inside you. Um, and other things you might want to watch out for is like skincare. So many skincare products out there that's not organic, they all have synthetic estrogens, which is synthetic female hormones designed to make your skin looks brighter, shinier. Um, it will benefit your looks, but it will harm your hormonal imbalances and to treat hormonal balances I would the most effective one that I experienced myself is through acupuncture and scraping combination together to um, flush the kidney gallbladder and um, kidney and liver meridians to balance it and use a scraping to get the toxins out. This way the hormone will become more and more even. Because in Chinese medicine, too much of something or too little of something will both cause diseases. And I will not recommend hormone therapy because they treat the symptoms using synthetic hormones without treating the root causes. And there's some products that are out there that also will benefit your um, hormones such as um, uh, if you want to use supplement there's evening primrose oil, hemp seed oil, ashwagandha, astragalus and vitex herbs. These are all your good herbs that benefits your hormones. And um, also magnesium bark, uh, relaxing therapeutic essential oils, just wiping down under your nose or putting down the essential oil diffuser let the whole room be full of relaxing vibe okay i hope this topic will benefit you now you know the three organs that controls the 
hormones and now you know what causes the hormone balances and I wish you good health and see you in the next episode.